Hey guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. And don't adjust your sets. These grow lights are the right way up. These are under canopy or intra inter canopy, whatever you want to say, lights. And they are from a company called Grow Pros. And I have to say, I think they're outstanding fixtures. Um, designed for the commercial environment. A really tough um, construction, really uh, durable. Uh, nicely finished and all the features you'd need for a commercial grow. So let's get into it. So they sent me two models to look at. This is the model three and this one has two channels, both 150 watt. This one has 75 watts of UVA and blue and white. And then the other channel is 75 watts of red and far red and white. This one here is 100 watt of deep red, 25 watt of 4K white with the second channel with 25 watts of far red. Each unit is just under four foot long, so it'll fit into a four foot section. The, um, it's a solid, uh, solid, it's a sealed piece of aluminium heat sink here with glass finish on the top, um, all totally sealed and splash proof. You got really nice quality cables interconnect the units together. So you can daisy chain multiple units together. For commercial grows, by the way, you can get these up to eight foot long, uh, depending on the size of your tables and how, um, how modular you want to be. In terms of mounting, mounting the units, obviously they go under the canopy. So you've got these adjustable feet, two per fixture um, with these supports here. And you got a, a simple adjustable pole here so you can slide it up and down, it's telescopic. The cables, as I said, got lots of interconnection with them. You've also got a power cable coming into the unit so you can switch them on and off manually, uh, really simply. So if you're doing any maintenance or cleaning, anybody working there under the canopy, you can turn these off really easily so you don't get blinded by the, um, by the bright light shining up in your face. You've got different LED combinations and different tunable spectrum for each model. The Model 3, as I said, you can play with it on the website, the spectrum adjustment. It's um, one channel, 50% of the output is UVA, um, deep blue and white. And then the other 50% is deep red, far red and white. Whilst on the Model 3, you can see the adjustment on the website. 80% is the white and deep red. And then they got the additional 20% of far red adjustable. You have an option for a controller, which will control the timing of the fixtures. Um, it'll also uh, allow you to adjust the spectrum outputs, so the different channels. And you can, for example, with the, um, the Model 4, you can adjust the far red so that you get the, um, you, can, you can add the far red just into the sleep cycle, into the lights off cycle and that is reported to improve the speed you can get a switch from veg over to flower. The Model 3, for example, you can set it to have the um, UVA in the finishing of the cycle, the far red, for example, in the start in order to promote uh, canopy growth. As these fixtures are designed to be put underneath the canopy and shine up into the leaves underneath, uh, it's difficult to sort of replicate that in a power test. So I just did a standard power test I took each individual unit and hung it in a five by five, um, 30 centimeters or one foot over the test area. And in both situations, the power output was outstanding and delivering a power efficiency of 2.5 usable PPF per watt um, on the, with the um, EPAR sensor from Apogee. And that's outstanding really, considering the units have glass covers on them, which usually takes away a little bit of the light output. Um, and also some of the channels are in UVA, which will not be picked up by the power sensor. So uh, really outstanding results from this, um, you know, very high efficacy fixture, particularly for the pricing. With regard to the pricing, it's $195 for each basic unit, plus cost for cables and controllers. Uh, for 150, 160 watt unit, that is incredibly good value. So I'm really impressed with the price point of these grow pros. In terms of application, obviously these are going under the canopy. Uh, most likely you're going to have a top light. General sort of wisdom at this point 
is that you're looking, for example, in a four or five by four at about 800 watts in total. And that's a combination of the top light and the under lighting. In this example, I've shown a uh, 500 watt light LED light above and um, just over 300 watts underneath, which would be a perfect setup for an intra canopy light uh, combined with top light. Overall, really well built light, high efficiency output, all the features you could want in terms of tunable spectrum, um, great build quality, guys are really knowledgeable, met them over MJ BizCon there recently, really know their stuff um, and have been producing excellent features for quite a long time. So very impressed with GrowPros. Um, links to their site are in the description below. Uh, please do check them out. Uh, and as I said, really good value for money. So worth, worth having a look. Take care.